So I got the inspiration to do this from um, uh, two different videos I saw on YouTube. Uh, the catch box was from a, a YouTube u um, user named uh, Stan Crafted, and then the uh, the ammo sorter was made by a, um, a guy named uh, Pocket Eighty Three, which is really it's more of a marble sorter, but it works the same thing for the for the same shot ammo. Um, as far as the box, um, it's a little bit about it. It's forty eight inches tall. Um, by 20 and a half inches wide and um, 14 and a half inches 14 and a half inches deep um, basically the all the the frame is made out of a two by four that was kind of cut in half and you can kind of see the dimensions here it's uh, again these are cut at 11 these are cut at 17 and a half or excuse me 11 and, yeah these are cut at 17 and a half um, and then the sides here you know basically it's uh, basically it's about 14 and a half inches um, I just had some MBF for laying around um, the back um, as you'll notice there is no peek in here there is no MBF board behind this I, I had some uh, basically some pine fence that you can pick up at Home Depot for pretty cheap and just cut those got one two three four five six of them um, and I cut them at uh, 20 and a half inches that creates a little extra uh, stop for the backstop there and get this add some durability um, the floor is made out of wafer boards. They're, I think they're 11 um, by 11 inches by nine and a half inches. There's two of them that kind of slanted down there. I'll cover more about that here in a second. Um, and then just on the back, I uh, um, uh, used some PVC pipe and took a heat gun and kind of melted this piece right here and there, and then just screwed it on so it had a way to connect to it and then drop down, drop down into the uh, the ammo sorter. Um, as far as uh, this here, I basically added two little slots here just so I can slide these in and out. Um, you'll notice that there's no lid on this right now, um, but there can be. Um, the original one I saw had a, had a lid, and but for the purposes of, 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 for the purposes of, of making this so it was easy to do maintenance on, I just took the lid and just used some MBF board as opposed to like a dedicated, a dedicated lid for it. Um, plus when you're trying to, when I was trying to set it up, it made it easier to kind of just drop the ammo in from the back and then they would just kind of fall down into the hole. So could I do some test runs to try to make it work? So, you know, it was, I, most of the time I was standing on the backside trying to make this, make this work. Um, you can say just like in the, in the, in the, in the stand crafted video, I added some, uh, 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 paper clips or uh, clips, rubber bands kind of hold these things in different targets. I, you know, I just shoot mine inside. So um, yeah, there's spots for four where you could raise it up if you wanted to. Um, but you know, since there's no wind, that's, you know, that works just perfectly fine for, for me. Um, the other part that I did is the, the most delicate piece of this is, is, is the floor. Uh, it, uh, because it's made out of that wafer board, if you were to hit it, you could rip it up pretty easily. So I basically just take some more of that fence and you can see it just, this kind of just lifts up on there and it screws on off. So um, it helps to do maintenance on it and then things like things like that. Um, so I added these arms uh, simply so I could add, uh, put something in the front of here um, in the, some sort of target there. Uh, what happened when originally when they were in the back, when for whatever reason, when you have this target on here and it hit the, the backstop, um, it would come and flip over the front of it with the paper. It doesn't seem to do that. It seems to just hit it and, 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 and move on. Um, you can see in the video, uh, I got a slow motion at the end of this where I'm hitting this thing and basically the, tra the ammo just travels right through it, then hits the backstop at, at full speed. And every once in a while, they'll, they'll kind of bounce off of there. Um, the second piece is the, actually the ammo sorter. And again, this was, uh, made, uh, what I saw was one made by pocket 83. Uh, and it was for marbles, but you know, this doesn't have to be near as precise because I'm only really shooting three different types, three different sizes of, of ammo. Um, I'll kind of show, um, I'll throw a couple in here and just show you one. This is, that's a half inch there, but you can kind of see how it comes down. I'll throw another one in there. It's, this again is a half inch. Um, and then, so I shoot primarily uh, half inch and uh, three eighths inch and quarter inch. So um, this is going to be another, uh, this is a uh, three eighths inch going in. another half inch going in and then finally a fourth inch quarter inch so um, and then basically one of the one of the things I did to make this actually work a little better was 
is to put it on this this thing here, this piece of board here. That allows you to kind of move it as all as one piece because you have to you'll eventually have to adjust it if you bump it or do something like that. Um, in future versions, I probably make it more sturdy once I because I know I'll know better how to what the angle needs to be. Um, one of the other upgrades I would make is, is follow uh, is follow Pocket 83's uh, suggestion to use the um, uh, steel rods. This is okay um, for for what I need it for. It's probably you know catches most of them, but every once in a while one of them will get kind of kind of hung up. Um, one of the other changes I would make is I would have added um, uh, I would made the floor higher, probably uh, eighteen inches as opposed to twelve. That way you could get a, a steeper slope. Um, and then also I would probably have ran the uh, ammo sorter on the backside of the of the uh, of the catch box. It just gives it more protection. Um, but this is a vast improvement over what I was doing before. Um, you can see back behind that is just a canvas that I got from uh, Harbor Freight, and it worked well. It caught almost everything, um, but you know. Then because you're shooting different types of slingshots, not all of the ammo works in each type of slingshot. So if you're just reaching in there, pulling them out, then you gotta kind of separate them as you as as you go along. So um, again, it's huge improvement over over what I what I previously had. And surprisingly, this thing catches almost it catches almost everything. If you hit high up in it, it might uh, it might not catch it, but um, for for the most part, it works it works pretty well. Um, and again, I would have made it deeper. Uh, that would give you a lot more. Um, a lot more options as far as how you kind of set this, how you kind of set this up, um, and then the the back stops, right? So uh, you can see that this, you know, I'll pop this lid off here real quick. Um, there's really not that much, you know, not that much room between between this and uh, the the back. So if you hit high, it's gonna it's gonna hit that, and you'll hear it kind of thug. I mean, it doesn't really do any damage. Um, this one up here, it's too close. Uh, the lighter ammo, especially the quarter inch, it, when it hits this, it has a tendency just to bounce off and roll off into the front. So that's why I kind of moved it back. This is first one here. This first one here is more for just kind of doing some doing some target shooting. But um, but all in all, um, I'm happy with the uh, with uh, how it works. It's not pretty. I don't think it needs to be. I think eventually this one will probably get beat down. Um, I'll probably put a little more structure into the next one. I, into the next one I make, because I, you know, I'm not a craftsman by trade, but because um, it meets my needs. So hope you enjoyed it.